Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So I've just been sat watching some YouTube videos and doing some cue cards this morning. But as soon as I woke up, me and Hattie had breakfast and then we went to the post office and I had two deliveries. One was my body shop one that I've been talking about for ages, which I'm going to show you first. And then the other one is a blogger mail parcel that I am very excited about and very excited to share with you. So, so I'm going to show you the stuff from the body sh shop first. It comes in this like really cute um, box with the whole animal testing, whole campaign. If you didn't know already, the body shop are completely cruelty free and vegan. That's always a bonus. Um, if you didn't know, the other day I bought like a body shop order and the reason I bought it was because you got so many like freebies with it. I bought four things and then I ended up getting four things for free, I think. Yeah. That is correct. So I end up getting eight things for £30, which to me is absolutely wonderful. So I decided to get one of these new body yogurts that I've seen lots of influencers get sent, like the little fridge and everything. And this is adorable. I thought they were really lovely and especially this one because this is for sensitive skin. I got the almond milk um, scented one and oh my god it literally oh, it smells like summer like I can't explain it. it just smells like summer and holidays and just loveliness and I cannot wait to apply this because my skin is super dry and pretty sensitive so I'm so happy that I picked this up this was sort of my last thing I was like oh my god the new body yogurt then I also got this which I I think this is potentially my most excited product because it looks so so pretty in the packaging it's the british rose petal soft gel toner i have never had a gel style toner i've only had like sprays and like liquid formula but this is like gel it's a little bit thicker i was not expecting the size to be so big like i didn't really like look at the sizes in detail very much this is 250 milliliters this is gonna last a, a while the formula just looks really really hydrating and something that i need in my life it says it replumps with moisture, soothes and softens. So yeah, I'm very excited to try this. I will be like sharing with you like all my opinions. I'll probably write a blog post to be fair because there are so many like lovely pieces. I also have the vitamin E cream cleanser with protective vitamin E and moisturizing wheat germ oil. Um, I've been wanting to get lots of vitamin E products because they are so, so beneficial for the skin. There are so many benefits. I'm not a skin get skincare specialist as I've stated before, but I've been proper into skincare as you've probably told, um, been able to tell from my recent vlogs. And I'm very excited to try this cleanser and see if the benefits actually make any like physical differences. Also a very exciting product. This is the vitamin E moisture protect emulsion SPF 30. So it's sort of like a day cream that is perfect for all skin types and it has SPF 30 in and we all know how I feel about SPF. I'd highly recommend this before I've even tried it because SPF is what you need in your life. In terms of the free things that we got, so first thing is this cute little um, animal testing bag. It has loads of like pink little rabbits and it says forever against animal testing on, which I think is absolutely adorable. And then I'm buzzing because we got two like smaller sample sizes, but they're still like pretty big, not gonna lie, um, from the Spars of the World collection, which I absolutely love because I have my huge, I think, yeah, it's called Japanese cam camellia, camellia cream. And oh, it, the smell is heavenly. So I'm glad we got some more Spars of the World products. So this is the Hawaiian Rich Nurturing Body Cream in this little tub. And then we have an Adriatic Peony Body Wash fancy names from the spas the world collection so i'm very excited to try that because i love my um japanese cream and then the last thing is my most excited freebie which is this aloe soothing day cream i'm going to apply it right now i'm very excited to try it out and yeah i'll let you guys know what i think about these probably in a blog post or if you want me to give you any details in like the next week or so about it then i will i will do but i don't want to bore anyone who's just here for like uni content if i just keep rumbling about skincare but yeah i just wanted to sort of like express my love for skin looking after my skin at the minute because i feel like a lot of people always think oh fuck the sun cream it, it is very important to look after your skin i've really been taking note of how to look after my skin to the best in the best possible way <laughs> Moving on to the other package that I happened to get today. So we got some, so I got some things from the Skinny Bakery. So they've actually given me this leaflet that has the entire range on and they've sent me actually a, quite a lot of goodies in here. So we've got, got these, which are the Skinny Chocolate and Orange Cookies. 
basically the calorie count is really small considering like the packaging size so this only has 181 calories and we also have some just normal chocolate chip cookies and they're in the shapes of little ducks and hearts which is so cute we also have these which are the skinny choc nut pearls and so basically little mini cakes which are going to get me through revision greatly these are all going to be amazing revision treats so thank you very much skinny bakery for providing me with the goods um they've also sent these oh my god red velvet pearls i love red velvet cakes so much so very excited about these ones and then we also have the double chocolate meringue cookies never had anything like this before so very excited to try them out and then finally these which are the mini carrot cake pearls too which look absolutely delicious and I picked them up from the post office this morning and was very very happy to see that they were all there so Thank you very much to the Skinny Bakery for providing me with those and I will definitely be eating my way through these during these next two weeks of exams and revision. <laughs> so I've had a shower, freshen myself up and I'm going to get on with some more revision. I've been doing some this morning. I've got my cue cards finished for one of my modules which is great um, and now I'm going to do some quizzes on my Quizlet app so I'm going to pop you on the side. You can watch me do some quizzes. Not that this is very exciting but... That's what I'm doing right now. If you've seen my revision video, you might have seen me like on this um, on this app. But if you haven't seen that video, then I will leave, leave it down below because I like showed loads of different like revision techniques that I use during exam season. I'm gonna do a test on crime scene investigation. I'm gonna see if it like overlaps with my module and see if the see if the questions are relevant. So let's go. <laughs> So I just got 70% on that test, which is okay. Um, I'd have preferred higher, but 70% is a first at university level, but I, I'm not sure these questions don't say if they're catered for like what sort of level. I'd have liked to got higher, but it's a start. <laughs> yeah, and obviously this isn't like my course specifically, so I can't really compare to be honest. I'm gonna do a couple more of these tests and then I'll catch up with you when I'm moving on to my genetic stuff. I think I'm gonna do one of the dynamic study modules which are on Blackboard and they're sort of like interactive on the system that can try and help me learn genetics. <laughs> I, I was gonna tell you this the other day but I think, I, oh yeah, I didn't vlog yesterday when I saw this or like the time that I watched this, I wasn't vlogging. Um, I would highly recommend, this is completely irrelevant to my revision, going, to, going and watching Childish Gambino's new song that he released. I'm pretty sure he released it at the weekend on like Saturday or something and it's called This Is America. Um, you don't have to be into his music or anything like I just recommend you go and watch the music video so much because it's so powerful and I really I really like the message that it gives across there are loads of like little metaphors and like symbolisms that um, he uses throughout the entire piece but it's to do with like America right now and how it's like sort of focused on pop culture and the distractions of pop culture against like more serious things like um, racism, slavery, gun violence and all of that sort of thing and I just I just thought it's really powerful I've watched it about 20 times since it's come out because I just think the whole video is so powerful he's great at dancing um and it's just got so many um important messages that I think I just I don't know I just really enjoy it so I definitely recommend I'm going to leave that down in the description below so you can go watch because please do please do and let me know your thoughts let me know if you've watched it already or um you go and watch it and then come back to this video and let me know what you think down below Okay, so me and her have decided to have a little revision, revision break because mm -hmm. um, the SU, the Students' Union, are doing free ice creams but we're not really sure if it's still going on because right. it has been, um, they put it on their story like two hours ago so they might have like sold out. That's yeah. why I was thinking oh, more yeah. than anything, like sold out because um, there was like a queue but nice fingers walk. crossed, yeah, it'll be a nice walk anyway to get out Fresh of our air. rooms because we've just been like, like... I'm just sitting in the room all day in the like, dark, just like... Yeah, there, like, <laughs> yeah. Really unhealthy, like just revising. Yeah, it's so gross. we're going to have a little break, just <laughs> even if it is just this walk and we don't get anything out of it. But <laughs> if not, we get free ice cream, which is sick. Fresh air. They're so cute. Oh, little chickies. I'll be fine. Oh. Right, so uh, there was no ice cream van. <laughs> to be fair, sh like, there's no point in getting our hopes anymore because whenever we go and try and do something, yeah. it always fails. Even so the train thing came down. We yeah, we had to sprint so we didn't get caught in the train. Got in a fight with 
fight with a goose. Yeah, goose just started hissing at me. <laughs> but it's scared. cute anyway. <laughs> I got scared and you said you'd just kick it. <laughs> We're going to the Minerva shop because I really want like an ice lolly now. Like I've psyched myself up for one, so. I'm gonna go see if they sell them in here, but they could be ridiculously expensive. <laughs> oh, it's open. <gasps> Yum. Oh, I wish they did like the cold, like the fruit coolers, imagine. I want, I want an iced tea, I think. I've just seen them. Yeah, Peach one, the peach one. Yeah, well done. Lipton, peach iced tea. This is the, su this is the summer drink. <gasps> My nan used to buy them all the time yeah. for us. Oh, that's They're not. Nice. They're like Tesco. I might just get it. Yeah, why not? Treat yourself. Yeah. Maybe we're supposed to get a free ice cream, but you might as well get one. <laughs> yeah. Well, that looks lush. Two for a four pounds. Okay. Yeah, they're usually like almost three pounds each. Well, this is my favourite one, so. Treating myself for those, even though it's really expensive. So yeah, we're back. We're back now. I just bought some smoothies from um, the Minerva shop, and then as we were walking through the Minerva building, we found some ice lollies. So had to buy one of these. So it wasn't quite free, but. Still worth it. It's one of those Soleros and it literally tastes like a porn star martini, so I'm loving life right now. And I'm happy because I actually got an iced an ice lolly in the end, so woohoo! Now I'm gonna get back on with this shitty revision. I feel like think of one the last time I vlogged. It was when I got a Solero. <laughs> Megan's over there by the way. We've just had dinner. Megan had a what'd you have? Oh Subway. And I had fish and chips, so <laughs> healthy eating. We've just been snacking on these for the past one minute and already almost eaten the whole packet. <laughs> um, these are the Skinny Bakery, the chocolate and orange cookies I was speaking about earlier. Um, very nice, very tasty, very soft. And I'm going to do a past paper. <laughs> I've got to read my notes for my fucking exam tomorrow. Oh yeah, Megan and Hattie have an exam tomorrow. <laughs> but also, ooh, good luck. <laughs> How are you feeling about your exam tomorrow? Oh. <laughs> uh, fucking fine. I'm gonna ace my degree. Woohoo! I like that positivity. <laughs> what about you, say. huh? The same. <laughs> the same. <laughs> Wait, what's going on with my suitcase? It's snapping my. It's eating. <laughs> it's... Oh, I'm gonna end up eating all of those tonight. Okay, so now Megan has gone and we've just been revising in the kitchen for like three, four hours. No, three hours, I'd say. Um, I was doing lots of genetics work because that's what I've been needing to work on like most of the time. Um, I did a past paper, which turned out actually pretty, pretty well considering the amount I thought I knew. So yeah, I'm feeling okay with that. I've been doing my cue cards as well. I've kind of like, I'm on the road to finishing them and I need to get them done like by the weekend, so. Hopefully I'll be able to do that. Um, the girls have their first exam tomorrow, so that's very exciting, but also scary, and I feel for them. Um, but I think they're gonna do great, and I think they said it was only 25%, so it wasn't too much to worry about for their module. So yeah, hopefully, well, I'll probably vlog tomorrow, maybe get their reactions as long as it doesn't go bad, because I don't wanna like shove the camera in their faces, because to be fair, I probably wouldn't, even though I would tell you in the end, I wouldn't want the camera straight in my face after an exam if I've done shit or I felt like it didn't go well. Oh, I've got all of my um, chemistry equations on my wall because these are the ones that we don't get in the exam and all of the different like volume conversions and concentration conversions. But yeah, I need to, I've got them all stuck up on my pin board so I remember. I think I'm gonna mind map some video ideas to film over the next couple of days or at the weekend or something. Um, my family are actually coming on Sunday, two days before my first exam, so that's great. But um, like I've said, my first exam is like my easiest. It's not easy, but it's like my easiest, so I don't feel as stressed. And I do really want to see my family. They're going to take some of the stuff home because I don't know how I'm going to fit all the stuff in the car again. Um, if you haven't watched my Move Into Uni vlog, it's like, I think it's my most popular vlog actually on this channel. 
I'll leave it in the li um, a link down below if you haven't seen it. The cars were rammed. We packed two cars full of all my stuff because I brought so much. And obviously since I've come to uni, I've brought s more stuff back from home and also bought stuff whilst I've been here. So that's going to be fun. So I'm going to try and pack up some stuff um, for the weekend for my family to take back. But yeah, I'm going to sit here, plan some more video ideas. Let me know if there's anything you want to see on my main channel, either uni-wise or like beauty fashion or challenges or anything you want to see sort of like brainstorming ideas at the minute I'm gonna hopefully get them all pre-filmed so I can like whack them out during exam season there'll be a lot um a lot less than usual but my vlog channel will probably still be the same because I'm obsessed with vlogging at the minute and I always like when it gets to a certain point in the evening when I stop my revision I literally will just edit this vlog that I'm sharing with you now and get it uploaded for the following day so yeah I really love it and I'm really enjoying vlogging and I really appreciate all the support like and having you guys message me on I always say it but um people message me on snapchat literally every single day like asking for advice I just really appreciate it so thank you very much if you do message me and I I literally am so thankful that I have people in my life who are so kind to me thank you <laughs> um I'm gonna go now hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe down below if you're new and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new uni vlog night